can tell us about the fella in the ditch, can't you? Why, that year, <laughs> we were been singing at carols and we were to go around and right up Outwood Park, it was to be two o'clock in the morning when we finished, we all went carols singing, for funds for church, and we got to Lofthouse Gate coming back to go back into the chapel for a drink. And on Lofthouse Gate there's a bend where Potham's Lane is, as you know. Well, this fellow with this van came careering down Outwood Hill and I said to me, oh, let's get in this, there's an electric thing in there, in a little bit of grass. Or there was, I don't know if it's there now or not. You know Lofthouse Gate corner? There was a electric cable thing. And uh, we, we pushed into there, so no closer as we could, we couldn't get right into it, pushed closer. And May said to me, she said, oh, it's coming. I said, I know what we're going to do, we're going to get knocked down here. So we kept moving about, you know, as it was coming. And, it, and there's a bus standing, last bus it was. And it swerved at bus, missed bus by inches, and driver got out swearing. And then Mr Fowler said, oh, look, he's going to do some damage. Anyway, it, it missed cars, it missed cars. And next thing we knew, he were, he were running and to, he'd left this minute it was. So Mr. Fowler, I'll go see. If it, did he get out? I said, yes, he did get out. He looked at, into his car and there was nobody in. So he said, where's he gone? I went to, there's a back run through there. It still runs through, I think. And uh, he came back, he says, he's in back. So it appears that when Mr. Fowler went to this back, there's this fella in this back shouting, where am I? Mister, I think I've fallen in the river. So Mr Fowler said, you haven't fallen in the river, you've fallen in back, get out. <laughs> but, I, I sure didn't laugh at day because we were all scared stiff. But it, afterwards we laughed because we thought, uh, we ran out to get out of his way. He left van and ran into the ditch and then he said he were in the river. So I, I can't remember just what happened afterward. I think bus driver rang for police. <laughs> It's not to laugh at really, but honestly, if you'd have seen us scarf into this edge so we could get out of where they say a fellow were coming down. I said, he's drunk, he must be drunk. And Mrs. Edge up, she said. There were three of us edged up into this uh, fencing. Mr. Fowler said, I'll go see if he's, what's in. He thought it might be somebody else in, you see, but there wasn't. And then he heard this voice in Beck, <laughs> get me out of here. Well, Mr. Fowler got up to him, Beck, he says, Mister, I'm in, I must be in the river. And Mr. Fowler says, he ought to be. <laughs> I didn't repeat that before, but Mr. Fowler, poor soul, is dead now, so he won't mind me saying that, because he, he did play part with him. I'd just like to tell you a little story about one mishap we had, and it was the only one we really had. And we'd come in home, and we stayed at a pub in Malton for the children to get some drink and something to eat. When we got back to Lofthouse Gate, one little lad was missing and his mum was playing pot with us and it was in Mr Fowler's bus. And Mr Fowler had checked the bus, like we always do. I checked my bus and he checked his bus. And the children all sat together with us, because they liked to be with us better than the mum, so they could laugh and sing. And when we got back, this lady, of course, was very vexed, which I would have been. So I rang up the pub and she said, yes, we have a little boy here, but he's asleep on the bench and if you'd like to leave him until tomorrow, it's all right. So I said, oh, no, we can't do that because we'll get into trouble. So I got a taxi and we went to Malton and fetched him home. Apart from that, we've had no real mishaps. Apart from one funny little story when little lad fell into the water straight away. Not into the water, not into the sea, really, but on the water path. And we took him into a laundrette, took his clothes off, dried them, put them all back on and came home. So we all had a good hearty laugh at the laundrette. Kilwood was waiting for this little lad's clothes to dry. So you see, Sunday school is not a place where you don't have any happiness. Sunday school at Lofthouse Gate was a place where we're all happy. And the children, some of the children now come to me and remember that they called me Mrs West. And I think that's nice. And some of them actually come and ask me how I am. Now, on a Sunday in our little chapel, we had a, an old fashioned organ that pumped with a handle. And each Sunday we had to get one of the lads, or sometimes a girl, to pump it when the hymns were being sung. This particular Sunday, the place was fairly full, which it used to be, 
when it was anniversary time, we used to put seats down the aisles because there were so many people came. And people don't think about it today, but we did. We put seats down the aisle. Oh, and we're all singing, best of our ability. With some good singers, and I was in the choir with a lot more. We did reasonably well for singing, not, not perhaps classical, but uh, nice. And right in the middle of all the singing, we were all singing heartily. The organ suddenly stopped. When we looked around, this poor little lad had fallen off. It had been so tight pumping this organ that it had fallen off and you were asleep in the middle of service. So all the singing stopped, and we looked, and this little lad was asleep. It had fallen off. Well, cut when he woke, when he fell off, of course, but it had fallen. He said, I went to sleep. And we said, never mind, never mind, we just carried on. And it's something I remember to this day, how we fell off this. You see, it was a big like, and he had to keep on pumping all the time we were singing, and, and when we were singing a lot of hymns, it wasn't very easy, and there's only a lad about, oh, probably nine or so. But there's one thing I wish I'd remembered, and I can't remember. It was always, it, it was. You don't want to tell us about the spider again, do you? Oh, no, not at <laughs> no, all. I think he's died, though. Has he? <laughs> I better not. I think he died. I think he died some time back. Did he? But it was one of these evangelical preachers, you know, walked up and down pulpit, and this spider was coming down. But I don't like to put this in. <laughs> <laughs> and it was coming down. And we were, sat, we were teenagers at that time, sitting in the back seat, and it went like that in the back seat, you know. And... This spider's coming down, a big spider, and we're, we're there, not speaking a word. It's, and then somebody whispered, it's coming. And it got nearly to his head and it went back. And we, <laughs> we said, crikey me, it must have known we were waiting for it to drop on his head. And we all laughed, but it wasn't fair, it, it wasn't really fair. <laughs> but I mean, that was the worst thing we did, you know what I mean? We didn't talk in church or not like that, but we did actually make fun of this spider coming down. <laughs>